in number 19, we want to do a couple of things. First thing we want to do is we want to sketch a graph of f prime of x equals x. And then we want to sketch a possible graph of f of x. Uh, and then they ask the question, is more than one graph possible? So let's start out, let's just sketch a graph of f prime of x is equal to x. Uh, that's easy enough. That's just a simple diagonal line. This is f prime of x equals x. And now we want to use this information to sketch a graph of our original function, f of x. So if we want to sketch the original function, well, what we see here is that the slope at 0 is 0. So if the slope of 0 is 0, that doesn't really tell me what the functional value is. It just tells me what the slope is. So I could put this point anywhere I want to. So let's just say I put it right here. But I know that the slope right there is 0. Then what ha happens as I head to the right? Well, the slopes are positive, and they're getting more and more positive. So the slopes are positive, and they're getting more and more positive. Over here, the slopes are negative, and they're getting more and more negative. So they're negative, and they're getting more and more negative. So uh, here is a possible graph of f of x. And I put a little question mark by it because is it the only graph of f of x? Well, I said right off the bat that I don't know anything from the fact that f prime of 0 is 0 other than the fact that that means that the slope here is 0. I could have put this point down here and said that the slope was 0, and it would have been just fine. I just would have gotten this graph instead. So the point at which I start is not determined. So I could get a lot of different graphs for the function f of x, not just one. Uh, I could move this up and down anywhere I wanted to. The graph would look the same. It just would be in a different position uh, vertically. So uh, we have a sketch of f prime of x. We have a sketch of f of x. And we know that there is certainly more than one graph possible.